The fourth index law involves raising a power to another power. So for example, if I had a cubed in brackets raised to the power of 4. I'll do this the long way and show you then how we come up with the fourth index law. What a cubed to the power of 4 means is a cubed times a cubed times a cubed times a cubed. In other words, four lots of a cubed. If you remember index law 1, if the bases are the same and they're all multiplied together, we add those indices, which gives us a to the power of 12. Can you see a shortcut? If we multiply those together, we get a to the power of 12. And that's the fourth index law, that for powers to a power, you multiply those index numbers together. So let's look at example A here. 7 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 8. We simply say 7 to the 4 times 8, which is 7 to the power of 32. Our next example. 3 squared over 5 cubed, all raised to the power of 3. Let's look at the top. 3 to the 2 times 3, and on the bottom, 5 to the 3 times 3. So on the top we have 3 to the power of 6, and on the bottom 5 to the power of 9. So that's our fourth index law. If we just move on and look at one further point. Okay, this further point um, involves these coefficients here. What we need to do is to also remember to raise them to the power. So what I do is put a 1 there put a 1 with them. So in other words, I've got in that brackets 2 to the power of 1, b to the power of 5 squared, and in the next brackets 5 to the power of 1, b8 cubed. I like to put that 1 there because then it reminds me that I have to go 2 to the 1 times 2, multiplying these powers together. b to the 5 times 2, and then for my next lot of brackets, it's 5 to the 1 times 3, b to the 8 times 3. So 1 times 2 is 2, 5 times 2 is 10, 1 times 3 is 3, 8 times 3 is 24. We need to keep going here. We can't add these indices, so we can't say 2 plus 3 is 5 because the bases are not the same. But I know 2 squared is 4, so it's 4b to the power of 10. 5 cubed, 5 cubed means 5 times 5 times 5, that's 125, 125b to the 24. Then I get 4 and times it by 125, so 4 times 125 is 500. Now these bases are the same, index law 1, bases are the same, and it's times you add the indices, so it's 500 b to the 34. Alright, one last example. So we've got 2a to the power of 5 over d squared, all cubed. Put your 1 in there. Then I don't think you'll forget to go t to the one time, 2 to the 1 times 3, a to the 5 times 3, and on the bottom, d to the 2 times 3. So everything in those brackets is getting raised to the power of 3. So we've got 2 to the 3, a to the 15, d to the 6. We can leave it like that, or 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 8, a to the 15, d to the 6. So index law 4. Power to a power. We have something like that we times these indices together, so it's a to the m times n. Or if x, x to the cubed, all raised to the power of 5, we say x to the 3 times 5, which is x to the power of 15. That is index law 4.